Hello matcha lovers, welcome! Today I am going to show you how to batch brew matcha green tea so that you don't have to do the ceremonial process every day. This way you can save time in the morning especially if you are like me who drinks matcha every day. For those that have not yet seen my video clip on how to make matcha green tea using the ceremonial process, do check out the link above. Now, if you have a matcha shop or if you're planning to open one which is especially serving matcha, making those drinks cup by cup will be time consuming. For the ingredients, very very simple, we are going to use matcha, pure matcha, 100% unsweetened no creamer added. Make sure you get the ceremonial variety. It will be slightly more expensive, but it's definitely worth it. We are going to make a concentrated version here. For this, you can use a simple whisk, and also it will help if you have a milk frother like this one, because we are going to mix them all together in a large batch. The magic number for me is to use 50 grams of pure matcha green tea to 600 milliliters of purified water. This time no special gadget except our strainer and of course our weight there which is the washer. Now the reason why I use a stainless steel washer here is because it is food grade just in case something gets in your mix. Okay so I'm going to scoop up my pure matcha into the strainer. Now you have to do this slowly because there is a lot of matcha here. Strain. Okay, so as you can see, the washer helps in making sure all the matcha powder gets into your bowl here. Okay, so now I've got everything there. Make sure it's all there. And now the trick here is not to put all your water. Number one, it won't fit in your bowl. And number two, it is going to spill all over the place. So I'm just going to put a little bit of the water there. We are going to whisk this. Just as you do it, be careful because the powder might just fly all over the place. So we are going to start with just a little bit of water to add more. If you are using a regular whisk, beware that it could get stuck in there. So if you are using a matcha whisk, it will be better. Okay, so I'm going to add more water. So the reason why I'm using a regular whisk here is because you need a deeper bowl if you're going to use this um, electric milk frother. I'm going to put it in this one liter bottle. So pour my matcha there. And just to make sure I get all of this in my bottle, I'm going to just rinse this bowl with my remaining water and then pour the rest of the water in. The resulting mixture should be about 650 milliliters and now you can use the electric milk frother to froth this. And there we have our one batch of matcha green tea that you can use to simply add water or milk of choice. As a teaser, I'm going to show you how I make my morning matcha, which I call dirty matcha. How long can you keep this? This is good for up to one week, refrigerated. 
and because matcha is not really a powder that is dissolved in water there will be settlement at the bottom so before each use you have to give it a good shake what you need to do with this is that you get your favorite milk get your favorite flavor and all you have to do is to pour a little bit of this concentrated matcha mix into your drink and you get either matcha green tea latte or could be a white chocolate matcha or vanilla matcha and those are the drinks that we are going to make in the next video clip we are going to make use of this batch brewed matcha with our green tea latte and i'm also going to show you dirty matchas don't forget to check out my books the basic barista and all things milk tea details on how to order in the description box below in the meantime stay safe stay tuned thank you for watching ciao for now